we have limits. We cannot drink alcohol. We cannot leave our hijab. We cannot allow Muslim women to marry non-Muslim men. I'm talking about basic principles that no Muslim can go against. No Muslim can say, well, we, yes, we need to go in the pubs and drink alcohol. We cannot commit adultery and zina. We cannot be involved in that. Leave alone being involved in homosexual activities. When the issue of homosexuality came, what do we do about it? You should enjoy the good or and forbid the evil. Or Allah Jalla is about to send upon you adab. Send upon you all adab if you stop enjoying the good and forbidding the evil. Even those people who try to water down the issue of homosexuality from an Islamic point of view. Huh? Ask them internally, what do you believe about homosexuality? They believe that it is a crime. All Muslims believe in this. Now in England, yeah, and many other European countries, homosexuality was considered to be a mental illness maybe 50 years ago. And then it used to be illegal. Okay, someone might say that at that time we were wrong and now we are right. Okay, now we are right. Can you give me an assurance that we will continue like this after 50 years? Sit, believing in the same issue with regards to homosexuality. That it is something natural, it is genetic, it is good. Can you assure for me that we will continue in this belief? No one can assure for that. So if there is no assurance, and this is not a set of value that came from the creator, then it is open for debate, it is open for a change. But so is it your suggestion we... to go back to maybe to where we were 50 years ago then? Is it your belief that it is a mental illness? Is that what you want to so this is the reach debate. in the, this the debate? Is the debate? This is the debate that I'm calling for. 50 years ago, okay, this set of value, okay, or this piece of value was like this. Whether that is better for our situation now or not, this is what I'm calling for.